How do I get him to Just did it. So I don't walk and you don't float me right here. And now I'm going to let you up. You see? And now I'm going to walk you out. You see? Right here. Throw him down. Once you unwind it, you have no control anymore. So you have to roll around his hand. You see how I do that? Okay, so I'm here. I use this as a fulcrum. I'll show you. I'll show you. So I use this hand to push. You see? And when I push the elbow, I, have, I already have the nickel bent final pin, okay? And that's what allows this knee to drop, to go around it, because if I do a straight arm, I end up picking up his shoulder, you see? Okay? So I need the bend to push down his shoulder. Okay? You guys see that? Okay, so I gotta bend the arm with the elbow hand. I'm rolling it. And then this hand rides up to the fingers. And you already have Nikki over there. Okay? And now I replace it by putting his knife edge in the fold of my elbow. And so now I can push down on that because I have a ledge with his palm and my bicep. You see? Okay. Then if I lost the curvature in his arm, let's say, that's what this hand is for. I just brought it back. Okay. Here's that. Straight arm, right? If I pass it over, as you see often, then they stand up. So the way I keep the pressure on the shoulder is by rolling. Okay? Here. And then her elbow, don't have her elbow on the feet side of your center line. Then you have to use all your torquing muscles. Okay, okay. Be ext have extension. <sighs> I have to put her elbow on the front side of my center line. See that? And now I can just bow. Okay? You guys got that? Okay. Step. Clear the line again. Get to the back. Thank you. Uh, and up here, okay. and again. See, I do. And there's the finger roll. Put it in the knife edge. Here's the line. Get to the back of them. Right with the front. One more foot step. Who should be going around who, right? Yeah, you, Uke goes around Nagi, right? Okay, so I, I don't sit here, right? Go here, here. I'm, I'm going around her, okay? Oh, well, she's going to go around me. See how I do that? It's a bridge for 
root here, right? What do you think that's the first? If I turn to my left, I leave my right knee in its spot and my left foot. Try it. Two steps. So, nope. Leave your right knee on a dime. It's on a dime. Don't let anyone get it. And leave your left foot on a dime. Come up. Leave that there. Put your foot out for your base, straight out from your leg. There you go. Now watch, wind back. Okay. So, stays there, stays there, up, turn. We want to go the other way. We we'll leave the left knee where it is and the right foot where it is. Put your foot down. You have your foot up. Where you go? Twist down. So now you start using this foot. Let's turn with our pinning the dime with our right knee. Use this foot to push you. <laughs> watch, watch what I'm doing. Watch two ways. It's a passive turn where I turn like this. Then this foot's going to push me. Boom! Push. Try it. Push with that foot. That's it. Bring your foot out again. There you go. There's your base. And try it both ways. Go ahead. Uh, the back The front foot. The front foot. Because that foot's going to take you into the Bushido Tenkan, right? Boom! So, so this foot's pushing, pushing, so you can drive back, boom, okay? Uh, you have to, you don't want to just hurt someone's wrist, okay? You're not going, I got you, okay? Ah, ha, 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 okay? There has to be a tactical reason for it other than it hurt him and that's points for me, okay? You're, you're not out to hurt him, and it may not hurt him. You're out to control his body, and in this case, you're out to pin his body. So your, your reason for pinning should be to uh, control his body, and your reason for controlling his body should be to pin him. So I use one to cause the other. So I throw him in the pit, and he goes down from there. Think, think like stages. How do I get someone down? Well, I'm going to get him down in stages. Okay. <clears throat> I'm seeing too much of, I got you, ha-ha, then you came around like that, okay, and you're, there's no connection between the Nikyo pin and the final solution, so this is, a, I got a guy who's upright, I'm going to lower him, oh, so that I can do that easier, right. okay, because let's be one film. Up, up, up. Because this is not going to work. You see? That will not work because he's too strong there. He's, uh, he's as equal as I am, our posture. But now I start to compromise this. Then this will work now. Okay? So start putting it together and don't go, ah, uh, got you. Use this to throw him into. That. You guys see that? Oh, yeah. right. Again, other side. <clears throat> boom. Use this. Boom. To throw him into that. Okay? It can be a Kenny. The first thing is, I can't be freaking out over the pain that's coming my way. Okay? I must have a calm spirit, so I'm accepting of what's going to happen. I'm not judging it, and I'm not avoiding it. He goes. My feet are up. Don't be, have this dead corpse body mind. Feet are up. 
I'm unaware. I let the tension out before I get up. I don't use that arm to prop, prop me up. And I let go of that rack of tire. And my face is stoic. I move wherever Nage is telling me to move with his energy. I don't have to work. I have to accept. Try and turn this, okay? Pin it to you, okay? And now turn your body. Okay, now you're on the thumb side of, the, of this arm. Anchor your elbows. And don't bring this stretch up like that. Remember, I'm not pinning you now. Okay? Your, your body should be dropping. Pin, turn. Now you're on the thumb side. Anchor your elbows and your body does that movement. Don't pick it up. Drop. Okay? Here we go. Oh, okay. Turn, 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 turn.
And so it's capturing your mind, and you end up having a small technique. You know, it's, it's air is small. And the odd part is that when you focus in on those little details like that, and you get that small air to it, you actually lose details. So you're so preoccupied with the details that you actually don't have many details in your technique. At the same time, your fighting spirit is tiny. Okay, uh, versus you know, I have all the details, and I'm I kind of have this broad, larger than life aspect to it. And you you get a sense of that because for some reason that uke uh, is moving way more than is explainable at first glance. Okay. Um, in other words, when you have this larger spirit, the uke just seems to move more, to have been moved more. Okay. When you have this tiny spirit, the uke barely moves. And I'm not telling you to have actual physical big movements. I'm telling you to have a, 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 a spiritual largeness to your technique. And to have that spiritual largeness, you can't be fettered by over-focusing on one detail that, in fact, is going to make you lose another detail and another detail and another detail. So, whether it's a matter of familiarity, I have to know this technique more, I have to practice it more, so I don't feel pressured to over-focus and become fettered with one particular detail. Or whether it's a matter of just the, this, this the maturity level of my spirit in that I tend to focus on one thing and lose the big picture. Okay. Whatever the case, through training you have to address that so that you have this larger fighting spirit so that uke is actually being uh, you know, affected. 